Wadey, quick trip over to India for you, just arriving last night or the, the day before, sorry. Looking forward to getting into training today and having a look at conditions out at the stadium. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, have a couple of days off after the last one day has been nice. So just chilled out in my room actually, uh, closed the blinds and just relaxed yesterday. So yeah, looking forward to getting down to training though and getting into my work. Do you know much about Chennai? Have you played here previously at all uh, through IPL or any other overseas tours that you've been on as far as you know um, development series? Yeah, I've played uh, one game here with the academy uh, at the main ground and I was here for IPL, so I'm pretty familiar with the main ground. Uh, I'm not too sure about the ground we're going to be playing on in the next couple of days, but yeah, looking forward to getting down and, and having a hit in the nets uh, down at the main ground today. And what do you know about the conditions here at this time of year? It's obviously quite um, pleasant for, for Chennai at the yep. moment. Um, how do you think the conditions are going to be and what challenges does that pose for, for a wicketkeeper batsman playing in that sort of temperature and humidity? Yeah, it's definitely not as hot as what it is probably at IPL time when, when most of the guys are used to being over here. But um, having said that, it's still it's still going to be quite warm. So, um, you know, challenging uh, in the fact to, to keep hydrated and those kind of things uh, throughout a test match. But um, we're, we're pretty used to it now, you know. It's no, not too much difference, I suppose, than playing in Perth on a hot day. You know, you've just got to make sure we're looking after our bodies, you know, two or three days out from the test match. Steve Rickens giving you the honour of captaining the Australian eleven that will take on the board president's eleven um, at Aguri Nanak tomorrow. Yep. What challenges do you see in that and what's your, uh, what's your captaincy background or your leadership background? Uh, I was captain a lot in, in youth cricket uh, leading up to uh, playing under 19s for Australia so I was captain of the youth teams in Tassie, um, that's about it but no, look, I'm looking forward to it to be honest, it'll be, it'll be a bit of fun obviously, um, you know, not everyone's here at the moment, we've only got 11 guys to pick from so there won't be too many selection issues but um, you know, just looking forward to getting out there and, and to have a catch and to have a hit and then just uh, have a run around on the ground. And personally uh, it's obviously, as a wicket keeper it's obviously generally a challenge keeping over here in yep. subcontinent conditions. Have you done anything different to prepare for, for the challenge that lies ahead over the next couple of months? Uh, I've, you know, I've outsourced obviously a few other people throughout the, the last month or two and uh, had a good catch uh, in Australia. I've done a lot more training stuff than probably what I did leading up to test matches because uh, we're playing so much. So um, feel confident in my technique and, and things that I've done, but uh, also taking you know a little bit of experience that I had in the West Indies on big spinning wickets uh, into into this series. So. Um, Feeling confident, but as you said, ready to get into training and, and you know put that practice uh, into play in the next couple of days. And come the test series, uh, you know potential for you to bat at that number six position. Is that something that you really look forward to, or are you happy just batting wherever you needed? Oh yeah, I'd love, you know I'm happy to bat six if that's what Michael and the selectors want me to do. I'm you know I'm happy to bat anywhere in the Australian team, as you said. But um, yeah, no, if it suits batting six, it would be great. You know to get out there that little bit earlier, hopefully a little bit before the new ball, and <laughs> uh, get into it would be nice.